When Jeff Mullins became head coach at UNC Charlotte, he inherited the worst Division I program in the NCAA. But even in Mullins' first season, the 49ers showed the promise of a brighter future. Charlotte fans were thirsty for good college basketball, and Mullins brought it to what was then called the Charlotte Coliseum. A sellout crowd turned out to watch Mullins' second game as head coach as the Niners nearly upset Atlantic Coast Conference foe Wake Forest before falling by one point. Later in the season, the 49ers got revenge on Wake and their point guard Muggsy Bogues, beating the Deacons in Winston-Salem, 62-61. UNCC won eight games in Coach Mullen's first season. The foundation had been laid with players like forward Michael Milling. The 86-87 season saw the 49ers more than double their victory total over the previous year. Point guard Keith Williams, Charlotte native Byron Dinkins, and junior college transfer Dan Plunkey led UNC Charlotte to 18 wins against 14 losses. The Niners nearly knocked off Sunbelt Conference regular season champ Western Kentucky in the tournament semifinals. Byron Dinkins led a furious 49er effort that sent the game into double overtime. Western Kentucky won the game, but Mullen's second season had gained respect for the program. In year three of the Mullins era, the 49ers reached the big dance, the NCAA tournament. Even the most optimistic fans didn't think Mullins could have turned around the 49ers program this quickly. But the dream had come true thanks to a dream weaver, Byron Dinkins. Dink's 37 points against UAB clinched the regular season title. Uh, I had a dream last night. I woke up about 5.30 this morning and uh, uh, I seen a score, uh, Jacksonville 79, VCU 72. And uh, I didn't want to tell nobody because I, you know, I said, well, if it doesn't happen, you know, they're going to be mad at me. But then again, I didn't want to keep it to myself because they would have called me a liar if it happened. So as soon as we went to shoot around, I told Coach Mullins. But I told him also in my dream, one thing I forgot to do is look at the scoreboard and see who won our game. crowd, especially in front of a sellout and, and having the fans around the court, I mean, that's what you dream of, and it was, it was just great. very good team this year. Quite honestly, we're not where I thought we'd be yet. I thought we'd be a little better. Now, I, I didn't know we'd win the conference championship. Don't get me wrong. I thought we might be a little better team, and we still may get better uh, because Frank Persley's just playing better and better. Cedric Ball is playing stronger each game, and our young players are making more and more of a contribution, so we can get better. But uh, to think that I won a conference championship, I, you know, that's, I didn't think it would happen this quick, no. First day I came in this year, the first thing I said I wanted to do was cut down the nets and get a ring, and it didn't matter if I played or not, and that's what happened. My dream came true. The run continued in the Sun Belt Tournament in Richmond. Three wins there sent the Niners to the NCAA Tournament for the first time since 1977, and allowed them to play one more night.
the first round of the NCAAs, the Niners built a big lead over Brigham Young, but needed Jeff West's three-pointer at the buzzer to force overtime. With Dinkins in foul trouble, the 49ers fell to the Cougars 92-88. But the team's 22 victories represented UNCC's best record in 11 years. In the 1991-92 season, another hot shooting guard returned the 49ers to the top. Henry Williams keyed the 49ers title run in the prestigious Diet Pepsi Tournament of Champions. The Niners knocked off 20th ranked DePaul and 15th ranked Alabama to win the trophy. It started the 49ers on the road to 23 wins, including five victories over top 25 teams. So here I am standing center stage Where you always sit at me The 49ers' first venture into the Metro Conference Tournament turned into a Williams Fest as Henry Williams hit clutch shot after clutch shot to give UNCC the Metro title and another trip to the NCAA. The 49ers' final year in the Metro, the 94-95 season, brought another trip to the big dance. Coach Mullins had his best big man combination. Shot blocking center Jermaine Parker and power forward Jarvis Lang, the human highlight film. Lang led the Niners to their second straight home win over Louisville and some tough road wins at Southern Miss and Tulane assured the club of the regular season Metro title. The 19-9 record was the third best during Coach Mullen's 11 years at UNC Charlotte. The national respect that Coach Jeff Mullins gained for the 49er program enabled the school to become a charter member of Conference USA beginning with the 95-96 season. 
The Niners started well in CUSA, one of the top three basketball leagues in the nation. The Niners rolled to a 12-point win at Louisville, their first ever over the Cardinals in fabled Freedom Hall. And there was a 10-point shellacking of 24th-ranked Marquette, with DeMarco Johnson leading the way. But an injury to the tallest player in school history, 7'2", Alex Cool, and the nation's second toughest schedule sent the 49ers to a 14-15 record. Late in his 11th season, Mullins surprised the Charlotte community by announcing his retirement. And it's been a, a great 11 years for me. Uh, the vision I'm talking about is not just the basketball program, but the university, the athletic department, and the basketball program. And during those 11 years, I think a lot of things have happened, and I'd like to just uh, mention a few. Number one, uh, for sake of comparison, I'd say we moved from the USBL to the CBA to the NBA in college basketball in 11 years. And we didn't do that because people said, hey, you're nice guys, we, we want you in. We did it because we earned the way. And I think that's important. UNC Charlotte earned that acceptance. Along the way, we've been able to add quite a few banners to that new building that's going to be here. So that the new coach will have a tradition that he can look up proudly to. We've retired some numbers. Two fine young men, Henry Williams and Jarvis Lang. We've had quite a few championships, quite a few postseason appearances, uh, quite a few Christmas tournament championships that will all go in a trophy case that will add to the tradition of this university. I guess I'd say we, we've kind of set a foundation. So um, I would tell you thank you for coming, thank you for support over the years, and, and uh, please leave here happy, because I do. Thank you very much. So Jeff Mullins said goodbye to UNC Charlotte basketball, but he left behind a tradition of winning with class, honesty, and dignity. A tradition that will live on for years to come at Halton Arena in the new Barnhart Student Activity Center. A place that could easily be called the house that Jeff built.